Then inside the closet, obviously, we have the rod for hangers and the secret compartment over here. Hello and welcome to another video. So I haven't been able to work on my van for a little while because my apartment completely flooded. This entire hallway right here just had water everywhere it was like a couple inches of water because i guess the water heater that's in this closet had a busted pipe or something took me a couple days to get all that stuff taken care of but my carpet is back to normal the dog doesn't have wet feet anymore and we're gonna get back to work on this van finally so i've been trying to figure out what to do with this space on the right side of what's going to be my Murphy bed when i'm actually done with it and i've been thinking that it might be a good idea to try to make some sort of a hidden compartment over here just because I like building stuff like that and it would be something interesting to do with the space that would really intrigue whoever's gonna buy this van I feel like and also that type of thing is really good for getting more views when you're doing your tour video to try to advertise your van so now that I've cleaned out the space I can kind of see that we've got a decent amount of room here but not a lot of room to add a hidden space behind it if I was gonna put like a shelf here or something like that so what I'm actually gonna do is put a shelf that kind of stops at a certain point and then you're going to be able to open it up like a door and then on the inside of the door is going to be where your hidden space is going to be. So I'm going to take down the bed and then I'm going to do this and then I'm going to put the bed back up at the end and we'll see how well it all fits together. first part is just going to be like the shell. The secret compartment is going to be inside of this triangular shape you see right here. And that's just to account for the weird shape of the wall. And then the front face of it is going to be this. This is the part that everyone's regularly going to see. But there's also going to be a hinge installed on the back edge of this shelf. And then that's what's going to allow it to open up like a door. And then I'm considering adding some shelves on the inside of here as well but i don't know if it'll be necessary yet that's kind of like a last step thing and real quick if you guys aren't familiar with this program that i'm using this is called sketchup it's a free program and i have a video explaining how i design stuff in this program already so go check that out it'll be in the corner of this video <laughs> So we're seeing it come together now. I just put this thing in front of me and originally I wasn't planning on making it a closet with actual hangers and stuff, but I decided to do that just because I actually didn't end up making one in the van yet. So I decided to just make this it. You know, there's only a certain distance that shirts actually hang down and then there's an empty space at the bottom. So what I was thinking about doing is making this top part clearly visibly just an openable closet, right? But at the bottom, I was thinking about doing a different, like, separate compartment at the bottom. You'll have to open this top door, reach in, and then move something over to get into this back space back here. So, that probably doesn't make any sense, but I'm just going to do it right now. I just need to make this top section, right section, and then the doors, and then you'll see what it looks like. So 
this is how it's going to look. We're going to have this piece running all the way across and this is going to serve as like the bottom of the hanger section and then under here is just a random storage unit or whatever but this is going to have a door to it that's also going to have a door to it and then on the bottom as you can see this piece is dividing this from the secret compartment side which is over here so it's going to have a decently sized secret compartment and this is going to be a false floor so you'll be able to just pick this up move it out of the way and then you can get to that side over here So this part is finally totally done, the entire inside of the closet and everything, including the secret compartment. So now all I have to do is the doors. I added this top piece for the hangers, and then down here, this is going to be one cabinet door, and then this is the other cabinet door. But inside here, I added this area with this hole here so you can fit your hand in here, pick this piece up, and then you have access to this area down here. This is actually faced the wrong way because you want the hole out so nobody's really gonna see it unless they like look deep in there and you're gonna have clothes and stuff in here that this fits exactly where it's supposed to. The bad news is that the top piece kind of sticks out further than I thought it would. So what I need to do is take this piece, move it down maybe a half inch or an inch. That means I need to extend this front face as well. And then I need to also add a ceiling to this because you're going to be able to see at least this much of it when it's installed. <laughs> project is finally done this is how the closet came out so as you can see last minute thing I did was add this handle that I've been using everywhere else in the van the reason why I didn't add a handle to the bottom door was because this is actually going to be a couch when I'm finished with this whole thing so it wouldn't make sense to have a handle coming out from there that's kind of just gonna be uh, extra storage underneath the actual hanging closet the hinges that I installed are actually uh, not only are they hidden hinges but they're hidden slow close hinges so when you close it it never slams and then 
then it has the magnet to hold it shut. Then inside the closet, obviously, we have the rod for hangers and the secret compartment over here that won't really be visible once you have clothes in here. Thank you guys for watching this video all the way to the end. It's much appreciated. If you enjoyed what you saw in this video, please hit the like button because that allows my video to get in front of more people. And then I make a little bit more money from that and then more people get to see the stuff that you just enjoyed so maybe they'll enjoy it too if you guys are interested in buying any of the woodworking projects that i've been working on i actually have a website called shopaxel.com where i make little woodworking projects out of reclaimed wood and then i sell them so check that out if you're interested if not it's all good and then in the next video i'm going to be finishing up my murphy bed and couch back here then i'm pretty much almost done with this van i just have to finish the walls and redo this one cabinet over here i think we're pretty much good as always thanks for watching i'll see you guys in the next video later Thank you.